This is Roger Schultz and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's Tech Talk, we are going to be pairing the RD8000 locator with a GO7X GNSS receiver. In order to complete the pairing, we first need to create a data dictionary file with a correct depth field or attribute we then need to pair the RD8000 to the GO7X via Bluetooth using the passcode 1234. We then need to configure the external sensor settings within TerraSync. We also need to configure the RD8000 for ASCII output. And finally, create a data file within TerraSync and collect field data. Let's get started. So I just opened up the data dictionary editor within Pathfinder Office. I'm going to name it, locate, I'm going to change the version to TerraSync 5.0 or later, and save it. I'm going to save it in my DDF file so I can locate it again later. The first thing I need to do is create a new feature. The feature I'm going to create is locate points. I'm going to change the symbol to a flag and make it red. I now need to add an attribute. This specific attribute needs to be a text attribute. This attribute needs to be named depth with a capital D. The next thing I need to do is go into feature repeat and I want to set it to omit from repeat so it will not repeat the previous reading. I can then hit close, hit save, and exit out of the data dictionary editor. In order to get this onto my Geo7X, I'm going to hook up my Geo7 using Windows Mobile Device Center and then go to data transfer. I'm going to make sure that I'm using the data logger on Windows Mobile. Make sure I'm connected Make sure I'm also sending a file. What type of file? A data dictionary. And I'm going to grab the data dictionary that I previously created and hit transfer all. I can see that it is successfully transferred and we'll put it in the correct location on my handheld. My next step is to put my RD8000 into pairing mode. I will first hit the power button and then scroll down to Bluetooth and hit the peak null button. Next, I will scroll down to the pair function and hit peak null again. I will hit the Bluetooth to PC and hit the function key. I'm now in pairing mode. Now that I'm in pairing mode, I'm going to grab my Geo7X, go into settings and Bluetooth, and then add a new device. My locator appears as RDMRX1001. I will select it and enter the passcode of 1234 and hit next. I have now successfully connected to the RD8000 locator. I will tap on it and make sure that I have created a serial port and hit save. Next, I'm going to go over to COM ports and create a new outgoing COM port. Select the locator itself, hit OK, grab COM5, make sure that it is not a secure connection, and hit Finish. I've now established a connection to the RD8000. My next step is to go into TerraSync and configure the external sensor settings. So I will click the top drop down and go to the setup screen and then external sensors in the bottom right. I will make sure that sensor 1 is checked on and hit properties. I will rename sensor 1 to RD8000. I'm then going to scroll down and change the port. I want to make sure that I'm on that COM5 that I established earlier. I want to set my baud rate to 2400 and make sure that I'm at 8, 1, and none. The next very important setting is to make sure that the prefix string is set correctly. I need to type in inches, all lowercase, with a comma. 
Again, that's inches, all lowercase with a comma. My suffix string needs to be comma, lowercase m, capital A for milliamps. I'll leave my bits empty and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Under data destination, I'm going to say as an attribute. I'm going to make sure I type in depth with a capital D. And my settings are done. Next, I need to make sure that I set my RD8000 to broadcast as an ASCII file. First, I'm going to press the power button, followed by Bluetooth, and then peak null, and then scroll down until I find protocol, hit the peak null again, make sure I'm set to ASCII, and hit the peak null. I want to make sure that I'm set to 2. This is going to be the starting row and then hit the function key to back out. Now that I'm on site, I'll set up the RD8000. Once the RD is set up, I can fire up my Geo and go to TerraSync, go to my data screen, and create a new data file. I'm going to call this data file RD test. I'm going to make sure that I select the correct data dictionary the one that I just created called locate and hit create. I'll confirm my antenna height and press OK. We can now see the locate points with the red flag that I created earlier. So I'm going to go out and locate a point. Once I'm located and I find a depth, I will create a locate point in TerraSync. So I'll press the survey SERP button and send over my reading into TerraSync. It will fill in in inches, so 2 feet is 24 inches. I have now paired the units and watched them successfully operate in the field. This will conclude our tech talk on pairing the RD8000 to the Geo7X and gathering a depth field. I want to personally thank Bruce over at MinDOT for his assistance out in the field, as well as Richard at Locators and Supplies. Remember to use locators and supplies for any of your locating needs or field supplies, as well as Frontier Precision for any of your geospatial mapping needs. We hope you've enjoyed this tech talk and found it useful, and will join us again next time. Thank you.